It's been a difficult few days for NHL star Nazem Kadri. The former Maple Leaf, who now plays for the Colorado Avalanche, has been the target of a slew of racist and abusive messages online. The language so threatening local police in St. Louis are investigating. But today, Kadri's wife took to social media to share with the public just some of the vitriol they've been receiving. Each message is filled with profanity. One user tells Kadri, who is a Muslim of Lebanese descent, to hang himself. Another writes, you should have never came to America, you effing immigrant. Multiple messages make comments about the hockey star's faith. All of this following Game 3 of the Avalanche's series against the Blues on Saturday. During the game, a collision between Kadri and Blues goaltender Jordan Binnington left Binnington injured and ruled out for the rest of the series. It was after that game that the Avalanche began working with the St. Louis Police Department to ensure Kadri's safety. I guess someone had contacted them about uh, some hateful uh, messages and I was able to read those messages and uh, they're ex very extreme. So, uh, you know, I just tried to shake it off and, you know, they did a good job assuring me and, uh, you know, making me feel uh, feel safe. Today, the NHL Players Association condemned the online attacks, writing in a statement, quote, such racist, hate-filled speech directed at anyone is completely unacceptable. Nazem and his family should never be subjected to the comments they have had to endure this week. But in addressing the situation, Kadri says these types of attacks are not new. Unfortunately, I've been dealing with that for a long time. You know, that's uh, sad to say, but that's just the fact of the matter. I'm getting good at just putting it in the rearview mirror. Um, it's a big deal. I try to act like it's not. There's a clear message that if you look different in this sport, being in an arena is not a welcome and safe place for you. And that should bother the gatekeepers of this sport more than anything. Sportsnet host Donovan Bennett says it's long been an issue, particularly within hockey culture, and that addressing it will take more than any one person or organization. For hockey to truly be for everyone, Everyone in the hockey community has to be involved. At some point, you need to decide as a sport and a community what you want your game to be about. Kadri himself has long used his platform to advocate for equality in the sport and was a founding member of the Hockey Diversity Alliance, a group of current and former players seeking to eradicate racism from the game. I know a lot of people don't have to deal with that and they might not uh, understand what it feels like, but people are trying, which, which I appreciate. I just worry about some people that maybe aren't, you know, some kids that aren't as mentally tough as I am and, you know, have to kind of go under through that scrutiny and that criticism. And, um, you know, that's why I want to do the best I can to help.